almost to the other side. I'm not going any further because I just felt seaweed. Going back, going back. Mission abort. We're close enough to the other side. Close enough, close enough. Usually when people think of city life, what comes to mind is a concrete jungle. Tall buildings, tons of pavement, beeping horns, lots of beige and gray. But I really want to show you guys how green the city of Nanjing is. It completely blew my mind. I never thought that a city of 9 million people would have so many plants. And I'm not just talking about the tree-lined streets or the gardens. Today, I want to show you guys a place in Nanjing called Purple Mountain. It's like a big green emerald right in the middle of the Nanjing city map. And I'm obsessed. I've been there so many times. Today, I'm going to take you guys with me. Today, we're starting our Purple Mountain voyage from this neighborhood called Machun. And looking at this place, you'd probably never guess that there's this beautiful mountain park literally just a few minutes away from here. It's a huge residential area. And these people are so fortunate to be able to have this beautiful mountain just within a five minute bike ride of their homes and that's the case for a lot of residential areas in Nanjing a lot of them are located quite close to this mountain or you can take the metro and reach the edge of the mountain right now we're gonna get a public share bike and I'm gonna show you guys our little route that will take us from this bustling street to a really beautiful mountain park As a lot of you guys know, I'm actually about to graduate, so I'll be leaving Nanjing really soon. And this park is definitely one of the things I'm gonna miss the most about this city. Although it's sad to say goodbye, at the same time, I'm glad that before I leave, I get one more chance to come to this beautiful place and share it with you guys. This tunnel we're about to go through is like a portal to another world. On one side, you've got apartments, malls, traffic, typical big city stuff. And as soon as you go through that tunnel, you reach beautiful forests and beautiful lakes. And of course, this tunnel is only one of dozens and dozens of entrances to the park. I'm just most familiar with coming in from this side. Welcome everyone to the Greenway. This is one of my favorite things in the mountain park. Okay, I love everything in the mountain park, but actually this path is really great because it allows you to experience this like nature immersion feeling without having to commit to a proper hike. Yeah, this is just a really beautiful place. It's so much fun to come here and walk and have your ears be assaulted by cicadas. Oh my gosh, listen to these guys, so loud. We finally found a refuge from the intense Nanjing summer heat. Time for some lunch. I like this chair. <laughs> I am highly amused by this so-called Western fast food. I mean, where did this idea even come from? And here's our supposedly French style lunch. I mean, it was good, but definitely not French. There are so many lakes all over this mountain. And it's definitely the place to be if you like birds. Oh my goodness, what is going on over here? There is some serious bird drama going down. There's a lot of history on this mountain. So as you're walking here, you'll see all kinds of interesting historical nuggets and also some things that are probably built in the modern era, but are still kind of reflecting of that historical vibe. There's just so much cool stuff to see in this mountain while you're walking. And there's some weird stuff too. Of course, I had to go and get the backstory behind this mouse poop in a jar. We're literally in the middle of a mountain right now, but guess what we just found? Ladies and gentlemen, behold, Nanjing Aquarium. Of all the places in the city that they could have put it, they put it here, in this mountain. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. What do you know, there's also an insect museum up here. What does this place not have? 
Most of the mountain is free to walk around on however you want, but today we are going into the section with the famous tomb, so we have to buy a ticket. If you come here often, you can get a year pass. Supposedly, there is a lake somewhere in this forest that you can swim in. So right now we are hunting for that lake because it is so hot out here. It is also extremely humid. It is hot and sticky as a... Never mind, I'm not gonna say that. AdSense won't like that, but you can use your imagination. It is very hot outside. Oh man, I wanted to go romping. So disappointed. I think we found the swimming lake. The legends are true. You can swim in one of the lakes on this mountain. My grandmother's hometown is in the state of Vermont and we go there every summer and swim in the big beautiful lakes in the mountains. And seeing this reminds me of that. I just feel like I'm back in my childhood in those beautiful lakes and we're gonna get in here and swim around and finally get away from this insufferable managing summer heat. Just kidding, looks like only I'm gonna be swimming because Wei forgot his swimsuit. <笑><笑> Bye bye. <laughs> this lake is amazing. I am beyond devastated that I only found out about it just a few days before moving. This is so upsetting. Okay, we are heading out to the center of the lake now. Where are those ducks at? I want to find some ducks. Yay, I finally found a duck. Almost to the other side. I'm not going any further because I just felt seaweed. Going back, going back. Mission abort. We're close enough to the other side. Even though I've been swimming in lakes since I was really young, I never have been able to adjust to the feeling of seaweed touching my foot. That's a big no. That's a nope. What a perfect day for the lake. I can't believe Wei forgot his swimsuit. Come on. Well, that exceeded my expectations by a lot. I was expecting a way smaller lake. That was really awesome. And we also managed to skip the hottest part of the day. So now it's not even that hot anymore. It's actually a pretty bearable temperature outside. So let's go and explore some tombs. Today, we're going to be exploring the grounds of the tomb of the first emperor of the Ming Dynasty. Yeah, rub that butt. We keep passing through building after building. Which one is the actual tomb? Oh my goodness. Maybe this is it. I think we have finally reached the building where the tomb is. Look at that. You can see the city in the background. VR? What? We were pretty excited to see this tomb, but apparently all of the buildings leading up to it are open for tourism, but the actual tomb itself is closed, so the emperor does not get woken up. All right, fair enough. You can go on a VR tour, but we're gonna skip it and move on. Even if you can't see the tomb building itself, all the buildings leading up to it are really a sight to see. It's really interesting that this also is in this mountain that's like right in the middle of the city. There's just surprises for days in here. Looking at these statues, I'm wondering if this was an artistic style or acid rain, or is that how people actually looked back then? It feels like we've been walking for ages, but we're actually still inside of the grounds of the tomb. And those stone animals that we just passed are kind of a procession in front of the tomb that are protecting the emperor from evil spirits. So we've got camels, horses, elephants, and that guy right there is called a Tilin, a mythical creature. The Tilin has scales because it's part dragon. It's also part horse, part phoenix, and apparently some other stuff mixed in too. 
The sun is setting and it's almost time for dinner. So we are on our way out of Purple Mountain and we are going to be reaching the metro station in like five minutes. It's awesome how close it is to so many residential areas. Usually people, when you think of China, if you're not familiar with it, what comes to mind is Beijing and Shanghai. That's just like always what people think of, but there's some really amazing stuff in a lot of second tier and third tier cities as well, including Nanjing. So if you're in China or whenever China opens up to global tourism again, I highly recommend my beloved Nanjing. It's been such a wonderful three years in this city and I will miss it a lot. Hope you guys had fun with me at Purple Mountain. And if you like this video, if you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks everyone. See you next time.